Our brains are amazing. They think about problems, tell body parts to move, tell the stomach how to digest, figure out what we see, taste, smell, and touch. They are the boss of the body. They tell everything else how to work. They even help us feel happy, excited, scared, mad, and sad. Like all body parts, the brain can sometimes have problems working correctly, and this can lead to mental illness. Sometimes brains make people feel worried too much of the time. This is called anxiety. Some brains make people feel too much sadness. This is called depression. Other brains make people feel like they need to repeat actions and that their work is never good enough. This is called OCD. Some brains make people feel very sad at times and overly happy and excited at other times. This is called bipolar. Some brains do not communicate the message to your body that it needs to focus and stay on task. This is called ADD or ADHD. And some brains make people think they hear, see, or touch things that aren't really there or think things that aren't true. This is called schizophrenia. Why does the brain, the boss of the whole body, not work right sometimes? Doctors and scientists are still learning, but they know it often has to do with how the brain communicates. The brain is similar to a highly organized collection of wires. It receives all the signals that come into the eyes and ears and nose and sends on messages to the mouth and feet and hands. Neurons are like the brain's wires. They are the connectors that move messages along and there are 100 billion of them at work in the brain all the time. But neurons must talk to other neurons to move messages along. And the way they talk to each other is through chemical messengers. These messengers, called neurotransmitters, cross the tiny gaps in between neurons, ferrying messages from one neuron to the next. When a neuron gets just the right neurotransmitter at just the right time, it helps the brain concentrate, relax, shift attention, and create. But when neurotransmitters aren't able to do their job right, when there are too many messengers, or too few, the message is not understood correctly. The brain loses focus, gets tired, worries, or retreats from reality. For example, when neurons called smiley serotonin don't make it across the neuron gap, the brain makes the whole body feel sad and depressed. Doctors have found that if they give a depressed patient some medicine to help smiley serotonin, it helps the brain feel happier. Doctors have discovered many medicines that help correct neurotransmitter levels in the brain. These other medicines influence not only serotonin, but other brain messengers such as do it dopamine, gregarious GABA, and nerdy norepinephrine. Doctors are also learning that for some brains, eating a healthier diet, exercise, meditation, and enjoying happy relationships can be very helpful in getting neurotransmitter levels back to working order. Our brains work hard being in charge of our bodies. Most of the time, people do not even notice just how well their brains are working. But if pathways in the brain start working poorly, it can be confusing and scary for that person and his family and friends. It is very important that people whose brains need help work closely with their doctor to get the help they need. Doctors know many ways to help get the brain working properly again so that the brain can get back to being a great boss.